work. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. I didn't want to make a supper like this. I'm so I'm so hungry. Whatever it is you're looking for, I'm sure you'll take her out. No one's bought anything for ages apart from you. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is, this, is this how you use the... Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? So, if you would just don the Dweller outfit, we can proceed. There you are. You look just like a Dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Oh. Oh. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well... <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. 
This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley. You have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Balder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. You'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. <laughs> oh, they are.
I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would term them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. See what this is about.